right, before we go any further, we've, we've talked about the hole making, we've built some tool path. Uh, I want to talk a little bit about managing your operation list. That's the tile list on the right hand side. Uh, it's very easy to screw this up. Um, so let's let's look at, uh, at at how this how you can accidentally mess this up. Uh, let's say that we just created this toolpath and it looks good. And let's say there's something else that has to be machined on here. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to real quickly sketch out a uh, a slot or geometry to to make a slot on here. Let's just go something something like that. Uh, just say this is a quarter inch slot, a quarter inch deep, and we can go ahead and put, throw some radiuses on there if we want to. Uh, something like that. Make the tool path a little bit smoother, make it look a little better. Alright, so this is the next thing that we have to do. Alright, so let's say that we just finished creating this tool path and we're getting ready to mill this slot now. Uh, so let's create a quarter inch end mill and I'm not going to worry too much about the details, I want to look more at the tool path and, and the operation list than anything else. And if I bring that down and tell it I want to do a contour with it and I'm not going to worry about feeds and speeds or any of the details, I'm just going to go a quarter inch deep and I'm going to select this and I'm going to put my tool on center. We're going to talk about all this when we get to the contour, which is going to be the next exercise. And I say do it. Watch my operation list over here. I'm spot drilling, drilling, and reaming a pilot hole. It's actually not doing it because I've got that turned off. But it's, it's, it's trying to create tool path with everything that's in this list and applying it to that geometry. Now, if these had been, uh, if on pre-mill the entry hole had been selected, which often, whoops, not corner, and oftentimes it, it might be selected on these, um, if those had been selected and I hit do it to, to do this, it would act, it's actually drill, spot drilling, drilling, and reaming a 3 8 hole where that end mill, anywhere that end mill is going to drop down. Uh, that's what that's designed to do. So let's uh, go back to here and we've just finished creating this uh, and it looks good to us so we clear this out which is what we should be doing and we get ready to create this toolpath. I'm still going to screw this up though. I create a contour, I set it up the way that I want it to be, I select my geometry, I put my tool on center and I accidentally hit redo. Well, I just lost my first four holes. I just overwrote those with this one. So it's important to understand that if any tiles over here are selected and you hit redo, anything and everything that's in your process list on the left hand side is going to be used to try to create toolpath based on the geometry that's selected and it's going to overwrite anything that's selected over here if you hit redo. Uh, by the same token, if you hit do it, anything and everything that's in this list is going to be used to try to create toolpath based on the geometry that's selected. It's going to create new toolpath over here. So there's, there's a little routine that you can go through that kind of will, will save you from screwing up a lot of the time. If you've created toolpath, we just drilled these four holes, I'm satisfied with this toolpath, I'm not going to make any changes to it. A little routine that you can go through that, that will save you some heartache is just click on a blank tile. Notice redo, as long as there's a tile selected over here, redo is active. But as soon as I deselect all of those, redo goes away. So I cannot accidentally overwrite anything because nothing's selected. Typically, click on a blank area of the screen because more than likely I'm finished with this tool with the geometry selection that is current, and hit the clear button over here to clear this list out. When you're starting new toolpath on new geometry, virtually always you're going to be using different tools and different processes. That's not a hundred percent true, but the most of the time, and when you're first getting started, you're safer blank tile, blank area of the screen, and clear this out and start with an empty process list for every new toolpath that you're going to create. And then, you know, I can't 
accidentally override anything and I can't have too many processes over here if I cleared that out and only put the processes that apply to, in this case, apply to the slot. Yeah. Um, so that'll, that'll just save you some, some aggravation. If I'm satisfied with this and there was something else that I was going to do, blank tile, blank area of the screen, hit the clear button, and start building my next tool path. So uh, kind, of, kind of get in the habit of doing that. Uh, another way that, uh, that tends to bite me in the butt is uh, another way that I can mess up is I tend to look at specific tool paths. And this isn't a terribly good example. It would typically be more on a milling tool path. But if I highlight, just say I highlight just that drill and hit redo. Now I'm only looking at that drilling tool path. Now again, this would, I would be more likely to do this on a milling tool path, especially a 3D tool path. Uh, than drilling, but this will give you the idea. So I'm, I'm looking at just this tool path because I wanted to study something about it, and I decide that there's something I don't like about it, so I open up that process and make some change. Maybe I want to go five thousandths deeper, okay? And I hit redo. Now, let's look at this a second before I actually do it. When I hit redo, anything and everything that's in this list is going to be used to calculate tool path based on the selected geometry and it's going to replace the selected tile or tiles over here. That means that I'm going to be center drilling twice, drilling once, and then reaming twice. Okay, so a good habit to get into, if I've looked at this and I want to make a change, the very last thing that I do, and I've tried to make a habit over of it for years, is before I come over here and make any changes, I always come over here and double click on this again. That makes sure that everything's selected that's part of that tool path. My geometry is selected in the correct order, and this process is completely up to date. It's exactly the process that was used to generate this. So then I can go in and make my change, make that go 5,000 steeper, and hit redo. And I'm safe doing that. So that's another little trick that you can use. Just you know, if you've looked, well, regardless of whether you've looked at something or not on a specific toolpath, the last thing you do before you open up a process to redo is just double-click on one of those tiles to make sure that's up to date, and then make whatever change and hit redo.